God bless you and God bless me and God bless everybody. Hello, my beautiful gems. How are you all doing today? Hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. So, today we are making black and white rice pudding. And I would like to give a big shout out to... Let me see, let me see, let me see. Caribbean Way 592. Thank you for being a part of Sparkle and Things family. She's also a Guyanese YouTuber and she's doing an amazing job in showcasing our Guyanese cuisine. So check her out guys and show some love. So join me in my cooking adventure with my aunt today. Let's go! Market, see? It's quite busy. So look at all these fresh vegetables. I'm so happy to be living in a country where we can get fresh fruits and vegetables daily. A big shout out to all our farmers and our market vendors now we're gonna pick up some of the seasonings for the pudding if you need fresh goat sheep and dog meat make sure you check out mistress Baksh. she also have the sheep runners to make the pudding all right so we just finished and the rain came down and soaked me from head to toe i'm all soaked Alright, let's get back to the kitchen. Okay, so we are back home. That's the intestine. And we're gonna use this here to wash the intestine with. So these are the seasonings that we'll be using. We're gonna use this broadleaf thyme. So we'll use pine leaf thyme, mm -hmm. marma pork. That's for the pudding. Yeah. And the um, coconut. Coconut. Okay. And this mango. This will make the sour with the, the pepper. With the pepper. Okay. And the aji. Yeah, the aji got to go in your rice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is the rice over here. Yeah. White rice. I'm doing some garlic here. Into the so to get this clean, she needs to take out all of the fat. And so this is how you wash. <laughs> I thought I had white vinegar, so I'm gonna use some apple cider vinegar to wash the intestines with too. Preferably the white vinegar is better. Yes. Mm. By using the vinegar and the lime, it helps to break down the, the fat. So in the meantime, she's preparing the seasoning and the rice. We'll leave the intestine to soak for about half an hour. After that, we'll wash it again and then we'll start filling it. So according to Shelly, she said the Mardman or basil is the main seasoning. This is what gives the pudding the flavor. So we leave back some of the margman. Auntie Shelly is going to chip this up very fine. And when the rice is finished, she's going to sprinkle it on top. 
right, so here we have our mango. We're gonna make the sour here. And the show is gonna add some salt, pepper, garlic, jeera. Now she's gonna add some water to cover the uh, mango. And we're gonna leave this to boil. Turn it some fine time. Look at that love potion. Mm -hmm. Yummy! You gotta mash it for the garlic, forget the flavor. And now she's gonna swizzle the sour. Or okay, the sour. Alright, this is done. Put it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just give this a rinse and then we'll put it in a blender and blend it. All right, so this is what our coconut uh, looks like. So we're gonna squeeze this and get the milk. Instead of using the plain water, we're gonna keep rinsing the coconut meat with water to get more milk. We're gonna blend all these seasoning together. Our garlic, pepper, marjoram, fine thyme, broad thyme. Everything is gonna go into the pot and boil with the rice. Now she's going to add in some aji. To make it get nice flavor. flavor. Okay. Now she's going to add salt to taste. Now our salt might look like a lot, but it's a lot of rice. Man, it smells great in here. Alright, so this is finished. We'll put it on the stove to boil now. So to this recipe, you can add two tablespoons of sugar. That would give it that nice, sweetish taste. But we're not gonna add any sugar to our recipe today. So our rice is finished boiling. All the water has evaporated. And now we're gonna divide it into two. We're gonna do one with the blood and one without the blood. Now, she's going to add the chopped basil or marmalade. And then we're going to give this a good mix and allow it to cool completely. If it's the, the rice is still hot and you pour the blood, it's going to clump up fast. So we don't want that. We still need the blood to be a bit runny. I just love the way this is smelling right now. The basil have a, a wonderful aroma. So now she's gonna wash it back. This is how she's gonna do it. She's gonna fill the inside with water and allow it to run through and through. That's it. This is a, a two liter drinks bottle or soda bottle, which we have. Um, empty out the, the soda and we're going to use this as a funnel so, and Michelle is going to cut it in half and that's what it is mm -hmm. so we'll add our stuff in here and then put the runner or the intestines here and then fill it strain it just in case there's any lump remember we need a smooth texture we put on back the same pot that we've used to boil the rice with some water and some salt okay, so we're giving a helping hand Do you want me to drink more? <laughs> I 
has a large intestine. No, she's doing that basically to take out the air bubbles so the rice can compact within the runner. She's gonna add them to the pot of boiling water. And be very careful not to burn yourself. I'm not. I know. Because <laughs> you're a professional. <laughs> I have to tell you, Auntie Shelly just make the best black pudding Put in non pril So if y'all live up that side and y'all need, yeah, the contact she, she gonna make. Right now she's gonna take a toothpick and puncture it to let whatever air pockets is in there to release and also for the blood inside to cook. So this is done after about 10 minutes. As soon as you take it out from the pot, here I have some vegetable oil and we're, we're gonna brush. Well, in this case, I'm using a tissue, so blah, 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 blah. we're gonna rub the oil all over. All right, so now we're gonna do the white one. So we ran out of the fresh coconut and we'll, we're going to use the tin coconut milk now. So she's going to add it to the rice, the cooked rice. Now remember you can use the fresh coconut or you can use a tin one, it doesn't matter. Same taste you get in. Now, Auntie Shelly is going to do the same thing again. Pull it in our makeshift funnel. Okay, so we change the water and wash the same pot, put it on back, bring it up to a boil with some salt. And now she's adding the white one. So we'll leave this to boil for five minutes and then we're gonna check it and poke some holes in it again for it to cook. Because remember we added the coconut milk so it, that has to cook with the rice as well too. Along with the runner. Okay, so she's doing the same thing. Puncture some holes in it. Right, so after about 10 minutes now of cooking, it's finished. We'll do the same thing here. We'll <laughs> rub the oil on each one. You're gonna get a sharp knife, like about half inch. You cut it. And see, it's cooked through and through. All right, so now I'm going to fry this rice here. So here I have a, a large onion. I'm going to chop this up into small pieces. Then I'm going to put on a pan with some oil to heat up. So our oil, is, it's hot. I'm going to add in the onion to fry. After about a minute of frying, this is nice and brown. I'm going to add in my rice. And I'm going to let this fry for about five minutes. You can do this as well. This is the same method to cook the one with the blood as well. 
All right, this is done. All right, so there you have it. Now I'm going to sit down and enjoy this with my family. And remember, you can use any of your choice. Eat this with sour or pepper sauce. So my beautiful gems, thank you all for watching my video. Hope you'll give my aunt's recipe a try and enjoy it. Remember, everyone cooks differently. God bless you. Be safe. I love you. And see you in my next video.